Hey fourth grade and welcome to our music lesson this week. So this week is the start of the new semester. So that means all the work you did from the beginning of the year all the way up until the middle of January. Your grades are already in for that. And we're starting a new semester. That means you're starting fresh with a new grade in music and all the other classes. So today we're going to start a new music project. All right, so this project is going to take maybe three weeks or so. And we're going to do a little bit of this project every single week. And then at the end, it's all going to come together to be your finished project. And this project is a composing project. So that means you're going to be writing some music. And then at the end, you're going to have a little song or a little piece of music that you're going to play and present. So for our little step this week, you are going to be writing some rhythms. So if you look at the checklist for number one, it says click here to watch Miscellaneous video. Hopefully you're doing that right now. All right, then number two, it says click here to create your rhythms. So I'm going to click on number two and it is going to take you to Pear Deck. Give it a little bit to load. How am I feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. Or you can just skip that part. All right, so here is, you're just gonna have one slide to fill out. All right, so for this one, it says number one, search dice roller in a new tab on Google Chrome. So you can go ahead, open a new tab, search dice roller. And the first thing that comes up is right there. Make sure you're on this blue die where it says six because there's six sides. Or when I look back at the checklist, there's also a link to a dice roller here on number three. So you can search a new one or open it from our checklist. All right, looking at pair deck again. So we did number one, search dice roller. Then number two is roll the dice and draw or write the notes in the empty boxes below. So you see these on the side here, it says if you roll a one, it's going to be a ta. If you roll a two, it's also going to be a ta. Three is tt. Four is you choose. You can choose any of these notes to add. Five is a rest or a sh. And six, it's a little hard to see, but it is a tika tika. So I'm going to go to my dice roller. I'm going to roll my dice. Let's see, it lands on one. Number one is ta, so I'm going to use the drawing tool here, the pencil. I'm going to draw a ta for number one. Okay, I'm going to go back to the dice roller, roll again. Let's see, number four, I get to choose, so how about I'm going to choose to do a tika tika. It's going to take a little bit of time, and it's not the most neat. But that's okay, as long as I can tell what the notes are. Alright, so there's my Tika Tika. I'm going to roll the dice again. Let's see, we have six. Oh, it's another Tika Tika. So now, if you're having some trouble drawing the notes with the pencil here, you can go to this little T where it says text. And instead, you can write the notes. So, for example, I can write tika tika right there. Let's see, I can roll again. Four, I choose. How about I want to do a rest or a shh? And I can write that right in the box. Okay? So, you have eight of these boxes four on the top, four on the bottom. You can either draw in your notes or you can write them in using words like ta, titi, tika, tika, and a sh. And when you're done, just make sure you fill this whole thing. And that's it for this part of the lesson. Now, since this lesson is starting our project where you're writing your rhythms, next week you're going to add some notes, and then eventually you're going to play this project. 
Okay, I'm going to click on the number 4. Click here for the instrument player. And this is how you are going to play the project. All right, so just for today, I want you to click around. You can click on any of these instruments and play and see how they sound. See which ones you like. So go through all of them. Some of them sound nice. Some of them are really quiet. Some of them maybe you like. Some of them maybe you don't like. So I just want you to go through after you're done with your pair deck, writing in your notes, go through this ORF instrument library, and just play with some of these instruments and see how you like them. All right. So that is it for today's music lesson. Make sure you do all of those things on that checklist. And you have any questions or need some help, just message me on Schoology. All right, well, good luck and have fun.